Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Warmer, and this is Sally Face. This is my first update of Sally Face. We're knocking on Todd's door. Hey, Sally Face. Meeting with these people has been so interesting. Look at this really cool design for this girl over here as well. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up in tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Says so Ashley. Hey, I'm Ash. Oh, wow, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Uh, I, uh, me, you have? Yeah, all good things. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you mean, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more in algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Yeah, calling him a boy there as well. I think it's just a misconception for the old the old lady. You too. You alright, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, uh, so what brings you this way? Ash seemed nice. Is she a freshman too? What does she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with Matt, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with uh, my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose you didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Alright. I see dead people. I need your help. That's probably the best way to go across with this. Thanks for telling me your story. I think maybe, maybe you have some assistance with your ex uh, exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have suspicious and that, uh, a suspicion that the uh, apparition resides in my bathroom. Oh, really? Yes, it does. It seems to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is only speculation on my part. Do you have, uh, the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. I love how willing Todd is to do this. Wait. That's Todd on the cover. Uh, what do you usually do to call a... Wait, hold on a second. Is that Larry or is that... That's Larry. Okay. What do you usually do to call up uh, Pond Megan? Does the Gear Boy always light up when she's near? It does light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here, and we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you, we're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Mm, I don't know about this now, Sally. Nothing is happening, and the game isn't lining up either. I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I could modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alter alter alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. So, we need an antenna and a battery pack. That's grand. I like Todd. Todd is very helpful so far. Todd is also, like, seems to be pretty into, uh,. The occult, which is helping us quite a bit. Also very much into the scientific side. Look at that baby. Looks like a cabbage patch kid. There's the parents. Uh, uh, the love, loving, loving Todd. Todd's parents' room. Todd's room. There's a fish. Bob. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insist that I need more nature in my life to counterbalance all this technology, as they put it. Like, this stuff was so brand new. Like, all this tech. Will this work for the reception? Hmm, the antenna's a bit too small for our purposes. That's an interesting box, but we'll need something longer, much thinner. Okay, yeah, we need... Yeah, that's fine. Will this work for the power? Walkie-talkie? Yes, the battery from the walkie-talkie work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Okay, so we just need something for the reception, which we need, like, an antenna or something. I'm wondering where we can get a good antenna. Maybe in a TV or something might be a good idea? Let's check it out. Let's go find uh, some sort of antenna. Uh, 203. 204 was Charlie's old place. I wonder if there's like an old TV in here we can rob the antenna off of or something like that. I remember it was pretty empty when we came in here last, so probably not. Music is very cool. It becomes a lot one once it loops a bit. Like, it's like, okay, uh, I've heard it a few times, I know. Yeah. 
Odd's place. Knock. Okay, let's check the third floor for something. This is, yeah, this is just like, this is just, this looks actually kind of nice, kind of calming, kind of soothing. Someone said this game was kind of a comforting as well. Uh, I can totally get that. Sup, brother? See ya. Sup, brother? College students. Do I have an antenna in there, college students? To amplify how college you are? Chug's place. Knock. Okay, let's try the fourth floor then. If not, I'm guessing then we just go to the basement then. No, sorry, the second floor, right? Wait, where were we? We were on the second floor there, were we? No, we weren't. No. Where were we? We went to the third floor. Were we on the fourth floor last time? Or were we on the second floor? Let's go to the first floor regardless. We were on the fourth floor. Miss Rosenberg's place. Miss Rosenberg, do you have an antenna I could borrow? She doesn't have a TV. She doesn't even, this, this lady don't even have a TV. What, lady? What do you watch in the evenings? Actually, like, my grandmother is very similar. She doesn't like watching TV too much. Mr. Gibson's place. Oh, Mr. Addison, do you have anything? How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? Didn't your father receive the invitation to Monday meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Oh, yes, we did. Just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though. I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future, if you're able to do that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up-to-date, and anyhow, to answer your question, I have a new security system put in. For everyone's safety, with all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that this new, state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel a bit more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching up with me on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. Last thing I need now is, now is some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, um, working on paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Phew. I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot ha handle any more stresses at the moment. You're doing great. Uh, you're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. One oh four. No. I guess we'll try the basement, and then if not, we'll go to like floor or like three or five or something like that. I'm trying to think which would be a good place to get an antenna, because we have yeah we're using the walkie-talkie battery pack, which is grand. But the antenna is gonna be the important part. Let's go to floor. Let's go to the basement floor. Maybe Chugs has something for us. Maybe this has something for us. Maybe there's something in the lost and found? Are you serious? There's not an antenna here? A radio might be a good idea. Oh, see ya. See ya there. Do you have an antenna? Well, wow, so much tissues, you must have been crying a lot. Yeah, there's actually like... Because she's sick, isn't it? Yeah. Down, down, down. You might have a born antenna from your scanner. Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Perfect. <laughs> That's simple. I like. I guess like I should have thought about that, but I just like again. I'm playing this game like a week apart. The last time I played this game was literally last Sunday, uh, so there is kind of like this thing where it's like, you know, obviously like I'm gonna like forget some stuff, but I'm trying to. Not saying it's gonna happen. Play like a chapter in one go. I think third floor is where Todd is, right? David's place. All the students. Yeah, we see it's on the third floor, isn't that where Todd is? Isn't it? Am I silly? Is it on the second floor? 
Man, am I like, oh, I'm so bad with directions, man, in this game. I'm so bad, and it's just every door looks a shame. What do you want from me, game, when every single door looks the same? Where's Todd? <laughs> Todd, there you are. <laughs> Todd, I got so lost. Todd. Todd. Mm, yes, this will work perfectly. Where two components to retrieve my important equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy 1. Spoke of earlier. Uh, Gear Boy I spoke of. Oh god. Give me a moment to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy! Um. Cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only uh, be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worry for a second. <laughs> of course, that's one of the big worries. However, unfortunately, I need a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie, and I wasn't able to salvage it. I hope it's all right. Larry, not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press Y on the screen. Uh, the screen will glow uh, if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. It's, if my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize the nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. Okay, it's just that we take a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna do it then. Hopefully this will work. Maybe not, because I don't know about the ghosts. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing Y. R? What happened there? Hmm, maybe I... Whoa, okay. It worked, but... Holy crap! Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he killed him. <laughs> it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool it was for, for a married woman. This is such a cool look at this. See, look at this sequence. This ghost just came out of a toilet. It's never crying to follow your heart. You must be romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I'm doing better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We could never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's what's keeping you here? Have you seen the demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? So it, I wonder if the apartment is kind of like a dead end that you can never leave. No, no, no. What? What is it? He's here. Who? The red eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. No, please. You're so interesting. Please. What was that in the mirror? What was that in the mirror? I, s I saw it. You can't hide it. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal of unformulated theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's t a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had a fill of excitement for today. Okay, you'll stay here and do your research. I want to look into the history of the Addison apartment to see if I can find anything about the past reticence and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm gonna search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extra, uh, some extraneous static around this game cartridge. You may want to check to make sure it's okay. Um, really cool scene. Like that freaking toilet ghost. I'm so interesting because like they're, they're, they've done a very good job already without even the ghostly stuff of like making the Addison Apartments like a character in themselves. You know what I mean? Which I think is like a really like cool thing that they've done there. Like we th we think about the Addison Apartments. Oh wait, yeah, let's check this right now because there's probably gonna be some activity. Maybe. 
Well, we should should just check. This is really cool, like little ghost hunting thing. We should check this bathroom anyway, right? There was a ghost right here. I know he was a ghost. Wait. So we can only press R if there is like a, like a little bit of a charge here. Let's check the bathroom. Anyone here? Megan. So you can also play it. In Seeking Providence. Chapter 1, Lock. Chapter 3, okay. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading in the dirt. Path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. What is this? This is actually pretty cool, though, that they put this stuff in games. Sorry, members only. Sorry, members only. What if I just go this way, then? Listen? Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. All these rooms look the same. So it's the right one, right? So it's the sound that goes woo woo. Maybe that's just part of the song though. Yes! Okay, cool, cool. There's a big adoration and love for the history of video games here. A very, very Zelda like puzzle there in a way. Hello, Missy, you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness. My name is Gregory Monta Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just I heard you crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. It's kind of, I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what's going on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year and in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see the can. A lady, such as yourself, so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me, Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I should tell Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have to come along a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Okay, so we unlock chapter three. Or we beat chapter three. Cool. That was fun. Greg is a bit of a bit of a go-getter. Y'all thought I was gonna say weirdo, didn't ya? No? Okay. Should we go down and consult with Larry, I wonder? Because I wonder if exploring this whole place is a good idea. Maybe we can go uh, uh, go to our house as well to see if anything happened there, if any supernatural stuff is happening there. It's worth a try. Four out to see a sales place. Let's check it. Any ghosts? Oh. This is the ghost of my former dad. Well, no. How troublesome. Where is thy bathroom? It's over here, probably. Yes. You ghost? Nope. Just checking. Just checking, Gizmo. Just checking. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and talk to Larry. We gotta own up to what we did to his antenna as well. I'm sure he'd want to see this as well, and we don't want to keep it from him either. I wonder, should we go to where the murder happened as well? I knew it. You're a ghost, Chug. I knew it. 
Yo, Larry. I knew it. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Taught me that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh yeah, you need the parts for the upgrades. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully you help us find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be alright. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just bad and uh, bad cold. She'll be okay. Okay. I'll be back. So, maybe we should go to the bathrooms again. This is where we saw the ghost last time, remember? I believe this is where we saw- Whoa! Okay. What the? Six? Yo, Larry, I saw a big freaking penta- Tentacle in your- Pentagram tentacle in your uh, house. Larry. Larry, I just saw something really scary in your house. Wait. Hold on a second. Wait a second. We're unlocking chapters. Let me see. We're unlocking chapters. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's try and unlock all the chapters. But I wonder if that's what we actually have to do, though. I mean, I'm not gonna remember every single freaking supernatural thing that we did here. You know what I mean? I'm just not. Um. Anything over here? Yeah, then I think we're gonna check out Charlie's old place, I guess? First of all, let's go to the first floor. We gotta check out everything at this point. Like, it's one of those games where you have to, like, continually go back and forth between things. We can go in Miss Rosenberg's place now? Oh, we always could. What? Oh, no, Miss Rosenberg, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Rosenberg, Miss Ro Rosenberg, it's okay. Oh my, what a rough device you have. Uh, it's well, sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Miss Rosenberg, please never talk to me again. What is happening with most Miss Rosenberg? What's happening with this place, this whole place? Just travel through here like this. Just in case. This is kind of cool. This little collectathon thing. It's kind of cool, you know. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's go to the second floor. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be a ghost in here. Yep. What's the ghost, though? It's, this is getting weird. It's, it's already been weird, but yeah, Amwa is right. Let's go to the bathroom as well if we can. There's a smell in there. Okay, so we collected yet another chapter. Let's just leave for now. Like, the best thing we can do now is just leave. Uh, we can check all the rooms just for any ghostly appearances. Todd's place. No. So, we already checked Todd's place as well. Let's go to the third floor. Maybe outside the apartment that was boarded up might be a good idea. The only other place I can think that I might miss is Mr. Addison's place. Shug's place. Knock. Nah. 
Supper. See us. Sees ya. Okay, nothing here. The yeah, the top floor is, is clearly a big thing as well, but um let's go to the fourth floor. I'm guessing We tried our own bathroom as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Just in case again. Okay. Let's try over here as well. Fair enough. Because after this, I'm not quite sure where else we can check out. Oh, someone got shot. For Robert's place. Can we not go in here? Hmm. The tree house as well. We should probably try the treehouse also. Oh, we never went in here either. Oh, what is going to come out of that birdcage? The symbols are really creepy, aren't they? Like, the purpose of them at least, like... We already checked here. Like, are we so sure that it's not here? Hmm. And we checked the bathroom as well and nothing happened, right? Or something did happen. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go down to the treehouse. Since all of his dad's stuff is there. And also just checking out their apartment as well couldn't hurt. Like the rest of the apartment. Like the mom's room as well. We didn't check out that entirely. Um, how many chapters do we have? How many chapters do we have? We have one, th we have only three chapters. <laughs> there is a lot we've missed up here. But I think that's the best place that we can go. If, you, if they'll let us though, that's the thing. Cause he's blocking the way as well. I wonder. Nothing in the bathroom. We already checked out this. Remember, we had this ghost. They probably won't even let us go to the treehouse, but let's try the mom's place as well. No? Okay. Oh, they'll definitely let us go up here. Nice. You know what would have been perfect for the soundtrack of this game? Just like, just like some Deftones tunes. Really. Yep, I was thinking something here as well. 
Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, no, Sal. Ever. Skate. Wait, what? Wary. Something live. Till. What? You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm sorry. I am. S Wait, I am sorry. I don't have much time. Uh. Must remember something. Yeet. To remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you. I gone into. Need. The, the bridge is. P passing. Don't forget the red ball. Something die group. Just when I thought I was gonna use seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was, my life is weird. Well, I should probably go check in Todd again. See if he's found anything. So that was the main story. So collecting the ghosts is like a side thing. So there's something, there is some supernatural force in the Addison Apartments. And the Addison Apartments seems to be a big thing with this as well. I wonder what leads to Sal committing murder. Murder, you know?